Hi everyone, I'm Patrick and I'm back today with the Kia at Willowbank. So this week our birds have been super busy on a couple of new tasks. Um, we're hoping that they'll lead towards a paper, so I'll share more about them once the paper actually comes out. But today I thought it would be a really good chance to talk about um, the Animal Minds Lab, why we're here, who we are and what we do. So while I like to share all the exciting things that we're doing with the birds in the aviary, most of the work I do actually happens here. The Animal Minds Lab is part of the School of Psychology at the University of Auckland and we're directed by Dr. Alex Taylor. And we're interested in comparing the cognitive processes that different animals use in decision making. So normally we work with three main species. We have a dog lab in Auckland, um, we work with New Caledonian crows and then there's the Kia down here in Christchurch. Of course, the last couple of years have been a little bit different. We can't travel as easily, so we've decided instead to focus our efforts all on the Kia here in Christchurch. We're really fortunate with the relationship we have with Willowbank. They allow us in to work with their birds to use on all of our studies. And in return, we give the birds that bit of mental stimulation to keep them active so that everyone's benefiting out of this. Likewise, we normally have a team in the field that consists of myself, one or two PhD students, and a further one or two students from other universities to help us out. Um, but again, because of travel restrictions, we're running with a much smaller team at the moment. And I think that brings me on to my own role within the lab. So I am our research technician, and that means in addition to the training and data gathering that we do with the birds, I'm also responsible for sourcing and building any equipment that we use, uh, programming what appears on the touchscreen in those experiments, and um, managing the data that comes out the other end. I'll also help out with all the background paperwork to make sure that we have the correct permissions to work with all the animals. In effect, I'm responsible for making sure the researchers are able to do their job as smoothly as possible. So one last thing before I go, um, if you're in the UK, uh, there's a show, Chris Packen's Animal Einsteins, that's just aired this week, and our lab features in the first episode. So if you are able to watch that, it should be on the BBC iPlayer. Um, if you're living elsewhere, hopefully that will be aired where you live sometime soon. You can check out a bit more of what we've been up to. We will also be posting regular videos here throughout the year. So if you do want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe and all the YouTube things. And I will see you next time. Bye.